Hello and welcome to uh, another video of vintage TV and radio stuff and today we're going to be featuring this snazzy little item. It's the uh, Sony model CFM 104 radio cassette quarter. This was built back in uh, the early to mid 90s, became popular then. And as you can kind of see, it's meant to be a little sporty. It's, it's designed to be used outdoors. It's uh, semi-waterproof in places, runs on battery power or a uh, adapter, AC adapter. So I'll show you around the uh, the unit. We'll try it out, make sure uh, the radio works good and all that. We'll check the cassette player and uh, mess around some more with it a little bit. Here on the top of the radio is, is really where all the action is. You've got your, your volume control knob and then the, uh, the basic controls for the cassette deck. The function switch, which uh, is now on the off or tape position, or you can flip it to AM and FM. There's also the tuning knob right over here. And uh, also there's a built-in condenser microphone, and there's a red light uh, for the operation of the battery. And on the back, you've got the battery compartment right here. This uh, actually came with batteries in the, in the machine when I bought it at a thrift store. And I believe it takes four D cell batteries. Also, uh, a very small antenna that just swivels around like this. And that's probably made short just so if, if you're out walking around, you don't uh, poke somebody in the eye as you're jogging by uh, <laughs> with, the, with the antenna. On the handle side, there are a couple of plugs that have little rubber gaskets on them that will keep uh, water and dirt out. And the bottom one is the uh, outlet or the plug for the uh, adapter, power adapter. This one is, I believe, a uh, headphone jack. And here's some equal time for the speaker end of it. Uh, you'll notice that sticker there. It's, it's a, one for Mongoose Mountain Bikes the old logo from probably the 90s, I'm guessing. Uh, I almost wish the person who uh, put it on the radio hadn't tried to peel it off, though. Okay, let's try the, uh, the radio first. I'm going to turn it on to AM. Don't expect a whole lot here, but we'll see what happens. The volume is nice and loud. This is only about maybe 25%. So I'm just going to start flipping around here. Oh, well, I got one right there. Now this is a station. That's a station I don't normally get downstairs here. So this is a nice sensitive AM radio. Uh, I don't think we're going to get too much more here, though. The tuner sticks right about here for some reason. Don't know why though. A little bit. Something else. Okay, not much there, so let's flip to FM and see what we get here. Playing with the antenna a little bit here, as you can see. It's helping a little bit. A funches? Yeah, funches. I mean... You're supposed to like. Welcome to attend. Some help and resource. Okay, well, it's not too bad. Sam, this is. But it's, once again, it sticks right in here for some reason. 
Okay, so the radio is functional. Uh, obviously, if this were outdoors, it might have a better better reception of some of the uh, FM signals around here. Uh, and it, there is the cassette deck. So let's try that. I'm going to first of all eject what's in here right now. This actually came with the uh, radio. It's a cassette of, uh, I don't know if you can read that or not, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. <laughs> So somebody is missing uh, tape four from their audio book. Oops. Uh, I'm going to get out a uh, nice fresh cassette uh, that I found at a thrift store for 99 cents, a RCA 60-minute uh, cassette. So I'll pop that in, and we'll uh, check out the radio and see uh, how the uh, microphone works. And I also believe I'm pretty sure we can record off the radio with this, too. So all right, I finally got this cassette out of the wrapper. I forgot how hard it is to get some of these, get these cassettes out of the wrapper. Uh, pop it in this way, I believe, and uh, hit uh, record. Oh, I guess I had it in the. Uh, should have flipped it around the other way. There we go. How soon we forget these things. How to do this. Alright, now let's try that. Give it a little time to uh, get past the leader. And uh, now I'll start talking uh, as close to the microphone as I can get without getting my face in front of the camera. And uh, we're testing the uh, cassette recording uh, capabilities of this uh, Sony Sports CFM 104. Let's see if we have anything, okay? Okay. I think it's trying to rewind. Doesn't look like it's doing a very good job of it, though. Um, let me just stop this. Hit play, see what happens. And, uh... Now I'll start talking uh, as close to the microphone as I can get without getting my face in front of the camera. And uh, we're testing the uh, cassette recording uh, capabilities of this uh, Sony Sports CFM 104. Let's see if we have anything, okay? Okay, well it did record, but, uh, and you can't see this very well, but it's not rewinding very quickly at all. Um, could be a nice tight cassette new cassette. I don't know. It could be just the rubber bands in there are, <laughs> are old and the needs a cleaning or whatever, but uh, I'm just going to stop this. Now, uh, let's eject it and see where we have. Well, we're at the end anyway, pretty much. Okay. So I'm going to put this back in and put it on the radio. Find a place we can Listen to something. Maybe talk would be best. Sports talk. All right, here we go. One three. The game. One oh one three. The game. Make hunting for Easter eggs naughty and turn a good Friday into a Oh my goodness! Uh, what kind of commercial would this be about? If's adult party store. Oh my! Uh, what an adult party store ad! And hop on over to Darlings and load up your basket with massage oils, moisturizer, lingerie, and erotic toys. All right. Your... We'll turn that off. <laughs> it's a family show here. Come on. I'm going to try rewinding this again. And, uh, yeah, it's very slow. It's rewinding very slowly. Let's see what Friday happens. Into a great nope. There you go. Darling's Gifts Adult Party Store. You want to do what bunnies do, if you know what I mean. And hop on a little. Okay. So it does record off the radio, too, which is cool. So, uh, you know, back in the day, you had your top 40 show and. Casey would be playing number 23 or whatever, and you'd be able to record it off this uh, this unit and then play it back as you're out there uh, skateboarding or uh, riding your mountain bike or jogging or just hanging out at the beach with your friends. So there you have it. This is the Sony uh, model CFM 104 radio cassette quarter uh, made back in the 90s. Uh, you'll find these on eBay um, some people are charging outrageously high prices for it. I, I don't understand why someone thinks they can get $300 for this, but others are selling it for parts. 
This one maybe had, would be a parts one because the cassette mechanism probably isn't working real well. I'm going to check it out later. Maybe I can take it apart and reband it or just clean it or something. But anyway, it's, it's, otherwise it's a really nice clean unit. I think I got it for like 15 bucks at a uh, thrift store. So that's our, uh, our video of uh, a, uh, well, pretty old radio. If you have any comments, leave them below, of course. Be sure and like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel, and we'll be back with uh, another uh, vintage TV and radio thing next time. Thanks for viewing.